Why would you, Jesus tell you to forgive somebody who didn't even forgive you for the same thing? Maybe because he's trying to get you to catch peace. Why would God tell me to give to somebody in need when I myself am in need? That doesn't make sense. Maybe he's trying to get you to catch a blessing. Why would God tell me to lead my family uh, when I've never even had a blueprint? Maybe because he's trying to get you to catch a legacy. Why would God tell me to live in this simplicity? Maybe he's trying to get you to catch contentment. Listen, I know there's many things that people want to catch in 2024. we got all these New Year's resolutions and these plans. We want to catch our purpose. We want to catch our calling. We want to catch uh, some freedom in a certain area. We want to catch financially. We want to make a catch uh, in our family. We want to make a catch in our marriage. There, there's all these catches we're, we're trying to accumulate. There's something that we want to have in our hands. There's something that we want to, to manifest itself in 2024. So I'm going to give you some keys real quick, one major one on how to make the catch. And I'm going to do it based on God's word, obviously from Luke chapter five, verse four. And this is what it says. Jesus says, when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Jesus said, when he had finished speaking, Jesus was given a lesson. He looked over at Simon and said, hey, put out into the deep water and let down your net for a catch. Now, why in the world would Jesus have to tell a fisherman how to go fishing? Simple, because this is a fisherman that didn't have any fish. This is a fisherman who didn't have what his title suggested that he should have. And many of us are trying to make a catch because we don't have one. Some of us have titles that our outcomes don't match. You know, how are you gonna be a believer and be broken? How in the world are you gonna have a successful career and have empty fulfillment? How in the world are you gonna have a marriage with no relationship? How in the world are you gonna have uh, wealth but still have uh, uh, be emotionally bankrupt? How are you gonna be a world traveler but still really feel like you have no place to go? Now, a lot of us have a lot of titles or things that we want to achieve that our outcomes don't match up to. In other words, our boats and our nets are empty, just like Simon. And Jesus is telling Simon, I'm going to need you to push out into the deep. That lets me know that he wasn't in the deep. That lets me know that where he was was not the place to get a catch. And Jesus was telling Simon, and he's telling all of the Simons who are listening to this right now, you're not in the location for the catch. The catch is actually going to be in deep water, which lets me know that at this point in the story, Simon is in shallow water. What was happening in the shallow water? Simple. Jesus was teaching a lesson. Jesus had got into Simon's boat and was teaching a general lesson to everybody who was standing on the shore at the Sea of Galilee, uh, specifically the Lake of Gennesaret. And so that's where Jesus was at the time where he made this statement. What was happening in the shallow? Let me say it again. Jesus was teaching a lesson in Simon's boat. In other words, getting a lesson about your catch happens in the shallow. Actually, getting your catch doesn't happen in the shallow. That happens in the deep. In order for Peter to get his catch, he would have to move on from invitation to application. In order for Peter to get his catch, he would have to not just hear the word, he would have to do the word that he heard. In order for Peter to get his catch, he would have to not delude himself by, by just being a hearer of the word, he would have to be a doer of the word. See, a lot of people have New Year's resolutions that they don't want to do. A lot of people have things that they want to attain or don't want to catch, but they don't actually want to fish the way Jesus tells them to fish. A lot of people have things that they're too afraid of accomplishing that is a goal for them to accomplish. So they won't move in the direction, but be mad that they didn't get the catch. Jesus is telling all of the Simons out there that not only am I giving you a lesson, but you actually have to row out to the deep to experience the lesson you've been given. A lot of people want deep lessons in shallow places. There's a lot of people who go to church or who are hearing this word right now and who will say, mm-hmm, amen, and they'll hear a good word and people will tell them what they need to do. They'll get good counseling. They'll hear uh, good advice on social media. They'll hear about all these people talk about what you have to do. They'll get the five-step plan. They'll have all of these things that they gotten in 2023 that they remember now in 2024, but the same problem could occur in 2024 as did 2023, and that is not the word that they heard. That is the fact that they never rode out to a place where the fish had been sent for their blessing. Listen, Jesus knew the catch was going to be there. Listen to what he said. Peter, row out to the deep for a catch. There, he, he had an assumptive variable in that command he gave to Peter. In other words, Peter, I didn't already set the fish out there. 
The blessing is already there. The, the resolution that you have, I've already sent it out there. All the fish out there. If you go out there, your blessing's already out there. But the blessing a lot of times is in a place we're not located because Peter was still in the shallow. Simon was still in the shallow hearing a lesson. This doesn't mean that the lesson is shallow. Jesus is teaching it. It couldn't have been a shallow lesson. It just means without the application of the lesson, there is a shallow experience. And many people in 2023 had a shallow experience, even though they spent the whole year getting a deep lesson. Are you one of those people who get deep lessons in shallow places? Don't stay shallow in 2024. Don't stay in the shallow. You got to go to the deep. Now, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Here's the reason why we stay shallow. You want to know why we stay shallow? It's because Jesus told Peter, Jesus told Simon, go to the deep for a catch. You say, well, Jonathan, how's that a problem? Because fishermen didn't fish in the deep and fishermen didn't fish during the day. Verse five says he had been fishing all night. Fishermen in those times fished at night and they fished in the shallow. So everything that Jesus told Peter to do was counterintuitive to Peter's experience. He told Peter, go to a place where you don't fish and you're going to have a catch there. And this is the sticking point for most people. And the reason why their hands stay empty, even though they're praying for a blessing, is because they only want to do what God says when, when they feel like what God says aligns with their experience, aligns with their history, aligns with what they feel is best, aligns with their, what feels good to them. And Jesus, a lot of times when he speaks, he's disagreeing with you. He's putting you in a place you've never been before. He's not concerned about your comfort zone. He's concerned about your catch, which a lot of times will be found in uncomfortable places. He's telling Peter, this is not what you're used to, but I'm, I've already sent the fish out there. This is not your experience. Peter's thinking to himself, fish during the day in the deep? That makes no sense. Because if I throw the linen net out there during the day, the fish just going to look at it like, bro, what you doing? Like, this is, we know that you're a fisherman and we ain't trying to get cooked. They're going to look at the net. And then if we're in the deep, when they see the net, all they're going to do is swim deeper, faster than the net can go down to scoop them up. Jesus, the reason why we fish during the night is because the net is less, less suspect in the night. And if the fish try to swim away, they ain't got nowhere to go. And the net can scoop them up. Doesn't that make sense, Jesus? Matter of fact, Jesus, you stick to preaching and let me stick to fishing. That, that's what we tell Jesus. Uh, Jesus, what, the, word, the word of God, what you're telling me is counterintuitive to my experiences. I'll do something else. And then we go 2022, 2023 with no catch. And we have the same goals in 2024. And we're sitting in a boat in the shallow. Oh, that's a good word. I'm going to try that. I'm going to do this. Well, that's good. Uh, look at that five-step plan. Look at the, what the preacher said this Sunday. Well, that's good. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. Are you? Even when the word of God is pushing you to do something that's counterintuitive to your experiences? Why would you, Jesus tell you to forgive somebody who didn't even forgive you for the same thing? Maybe because he's trying to get you to catch peace. Why would God tell me to give to somebody in need when I myself am in, in need? That doesn't make sense. Maybe he's trying to get you to catch a blessing. Why would God tell me to lead my family uh, when I've never even had a blueprint? Maybe because he's trying to get you to catch a legacy. Why would God tell me to live in this simplicity? Maybe he's trying to get you to catch contentment. Why would God tell me to preach the gospel in uncomfortable places? Maybe because he's trying to get you to catch fish. God is not first concerned with your comfort zone. And it's okay to feel skeptical, but it's not okay to be still. And a lot of us are relying on our instincts, and that's the reason why our life stinks. <laughs> Jesus was pulling him out of his instincts and out of his experiences because that's where the catch is. The catch is not in your comfort zone. And a lot of people want to be comfortable and experience their calling at the same time. And those two things, a lot of times, bump heads. Peter would have to have faith that what Jesus said superseded his experiences. Why? Because his experiences, watch this, his experiences still left him with empty nets and an empty boat. So why talk back when we're the ones who have no catch? Jesus is calling you to faith in 2024. In 2024, he's calling you to faith. My dad said it best and I've said it on here before, but I got to repeat it again. Faith is acting like it is so, even when it's not so, 
so that it might be so simply because God said so. I don't have to fully understand it, know it, be my experiences, be my history. It's irrelevant. God says it, I'm going to do it because he's the one who sent the fish out there. He's sending you to where the blessing is. The question is, will you go or will you have a 2024 that's just like your 2023? A lot of good lessons with empty nets and empty boats. Peter went out there and when he went out there, his nets were so full that they began to break. He went from empty with a burden to full of a blessing. Even the boats were so full they began to sink. Jesus is saying, I've, I've already sent your blessing ahead of you. Now go get it. Are you willing to do what I'm calling you to do, even when what I'm calling you to do is outside of your experiences, how you think in your history? Peter got his catch. The question is in 2024, will you move from lesson in the shallow to experience in the deep? It's going to be hard. 2024 is not going to be easy. But we can all still have full boats and full nets. Let's go get it together. Listen, be steadfast, unmovable, always abound in the work of the Lord, and know that it will not go in vain. Like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Let's get the catch together. Can't wait till next time. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Listen, let's get the catch. It's 2024. We want to get the catch. Share this video with people who you need who you know need to hear it, but also become a part of the family. Like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell right now so that we can have the best 2024 encouraging one another. Let's go.